Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I picked up this frame um, the other day in a second-hand shop or, or a thrift store for a pound, which is about $1.25 at the most. And um, I really like it. So it's got a glass in it as well. So I'm quite happy with that. So when that's cleaned up, it'll look lovely. Um, and it's got all the back into it. So what I'm going to do is, I don't particularly want this colour, it doesn't match anything in my house, but I would like to put a picture in this frame. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give it an uplift using resin. So I'm going to be using resin 8 resin, which is just a, um, a pouring resin. And let it thicken up a little bit and then I'm going to paint it on with a brush. But before I do that, I'm going to mix in some... Um, mica powder, which is, this is the Meteor Shower, which is kind of like a really dark grey or black. And I'm also going to then, once it's dry or, or starting to set, put a little bit of um, black glitter in it as well to give it a bit of a shine. I'm going to give this a light sanding first because I actually don't know what coating is on this and I don't want it to repel the resin. And literally, all I have to do is to lift these little clips up which are holding the um, backing frame in place. Take that away, put that to one side, remove the glass and the frame thing from inside, give that a clean. Okay, and then I've got my frame. I shall prop that up on some, because um, I want it to go down the edges as well, so I shall prop that up on some, um, shot glasses first before I resin it and um, give it a bit of an uplift. We'll see how it comes out. Not bad for a uh, for a pound. I'm really pleased with that. So I'll be back in a minute once I've mixed my resin and my colours. So I've sanded it down now and I've taped the back as well because obviously I, what I don't want it to do is end up with a load of heavy drips on the back even though I can take those off with my Dremel. If you prepare for it first then it saves a little job. And all I'm doing now is making sure I push down those edges so it's nicely sealed. And I just need to prop this up on um, here, ready for pouring. So the resin is now thick enough for me to start painting on. Um, and I wanted it to thicken up, so I've left it about 35 minutes to thicken up. Um, because then it doesn't run so much. But it will still level off and won't leave any marks in the actual um, resin itself once it starts to cure. So I'm literally just painting this on to really give it a coating and to change what is a gold frame to a um, really a black sparkly frame. with the mica and the glitter in it. And then I will put, now it's thicker as well, I will put some um, glitter over the top of it as well, sprinkle some over the top, because it won't settle in. It will only, um, it will only lay on the top because the, the, the resin is actually a lot thicker than, so it won't sink in. And then what I'll let do is I'll let this cure for probably, I don't know, a couple of days till it's quite nice and solid as well. And uh, that way it will... Uh, so there we go. I've speaked this up properly. quite a lot now and, to uh, I won't um, get any fingerprints in it when show I'm you how I'm painting it. Because I'm sure you don't want to be sitting here watching me paint. And as I said, this is now thickened up nicely, this resin, and it is painting on... Um, really well nice thick layer and it's not going to run or cause too many drips and it is going to allow the um, glit glitter to be able to embed into the actual resin so it won't come off but not sink down so you can't see it so you're still going to be able to see the shiny bits 
So what you'll see in a second is the completed frame painted in resin. And now what I'm going to do is to finish it off, I'm going to sprinkle some black glitter over it. Now, I've not used this sprinkler before, but it seems to be working really well. So some black glitter. And then I'm going to just sprinkle on a little bit of clear glitter as well to get a sparkle in it. I do like a bit of glitter and mica and I do like a bit of shine on it now once that once that glitters on there that'll stick in with that resin and it shouldn't come off but if it looks like it is going to come off then what I will probably do is give it a clear coat as well all right, so that's the black glitter. And now I'm just gonna do the same, but very light dusting of white glitter. Uh, just so it kind of picks out some highlights. But not, not a great deal. I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up. But it will. It will look good. It looks a mess at the moment because it's still uh, on a background, on this red background. It's also covered in resin, but it's also covered in glitter. So there we go. That should now cure for probably, I will say, 48 hours. And once it's cured, I will then um, see if it needs another top coat of just clear resin. It may. And if it does, then I'll pop a top coat on. If not, next time you see it, it will be cured and done. Thank you very much. Well, the frame's all finished now and cured. And I've put a picture in it that I did a long time ago with um, alcohol inks. And as you can see, the picture of frame is now black with a lot of glitter in, and the glitter doesn't actually come off on your hands at all, and it's got a nice gloss finish to it. And I have to say, I'm really pleased with that. All that cost me was a pound for the frame, and uh, whatever the resin cost me. Um, and I didn't really use a great deal of resin with this, so I'm really pleased how it's come out. So I think this will be uh, a present for somebody at Christmas. And there it is standing up as well. Thank you very much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. I like it when people uh, leave comments, so please leave a comment um, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.